Hi, I'm Ferdinand the Carpet Stacker, and in this quick start tutorial, we're going to take a look at lanterns. Lanterns is for 2 to 4 players ages 8 and up and plays around 30 minutes. It is published by Foxtrot Games and retails for $34.99 USD. In Lanterns, you take on the role as an artisan designing floating lanterns. Earn honor points by making dedications. The player with the most points at the end wins the game. To set up a game of Lanterns, begin with the starting lake tile and place it into the center of the playing field so the red side is facing the first player. Make sure players sit around the table or play area so they are oriented on the four faces of the tile. Now, form a stack of lake tiles and lantern cards. Remove cards by player count. Then, gather the three generic dedication tokens and put those aside. The other dedication tokens are divided by their color and are stacked in ascending order, with the highest being on top. If playing with three players, remove the dedication tokens with four dots or tokens with three and four dots in a two-player game. Next, give the players their starting lantern cards that matches the color of the starting tile of their corresponding side. Next, each player draws three tiles which are kept secret until they are played. Make a supply of favorite tokens within easy reach of all players. And finally, give the first player the starting player marker. There are multiple rounds in lanterns. Beginning with the starting player, they perform 1-3 to three actions with turns proceeding clockwise. There are 3 different actions a player can make, which are played in order. Let's start with the third and last action, placing a lake tile. This is a mandatory action that must be taken by each player every turn. To place a tile, players choose a tile from their hand and place it face up on the play area so that at least one side of the played tile is touching a side of an existing tile. After placing the tile, two things happen. First, matching bonuses are given to the current player. If any side of the new tile matches the colors of a side of any existing tile, the current player receives a lantern card for the color of any matching side. If the new tile has a platform, and if any matching tiles have a platform, the player receives one favorite token for each. Second, all players are given a lantern tile corresponding to the new tile's side by orientation. Before ending the turn, the player draws a lake tile. The other two actions, exchange a lantern card and make a dedication, are two optional actions that can be taken before playing a lake tile. When a player uses the exchange a lantern card action, they use two favorite tokens to exchange one of their lantern cards with one available in the supply. This action can only be used once a turn. Then if a player has the necessary lantern cards to make a dedication, the player can use the make a dedication action. The players return their lantern cards to the supply and take the top corresponding dedication token in the stack. The number of each token are called honor points that are added to the end game scoring. There are three different types of dedication tokens that can be earned. Four of any color, three pairs of different colors, and seven unique lanterns. Players are able to still score on empty dedication stacks. Players that wish to dedicate on an empty stack of a type take a generic four point token instead. Players continue to take turns until the last lake tile has been placed. Then each player takes one more turn to exchange lantern cards and earn dedication tokens. When that is over, players add all their honor points from dedication tokens. The player with the most honor points wins the game. And before I take off, there are a few things to remember before starting your game. Actions are done in a specific order. Placing a lake tile is mandatory every turn. Favorite tokens are earned from platforms and in exchange for lantern cards. And don't forget to use the generic 4 point token on empty dedication stacks. And that covers the rules to lanterns. Before you go, take a moment to subscribe to our channel and take a look at our other videos. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like and share. You can follow us on Twitter at CBStacker and if you're interested in supporting us and what we do, visit our Patreon page. On behalf of the Scarborough Stacker team, thanks for watching and keep on stacking games.